we got lots of updates for you guys today and I've got the biggest, most exciting news to tell you guys in this video. Can you hear me in this microphone? If you can, then I guess we're doing all right then, aren't we? Uh, mm. Oh, it feels good. We got packages to open today, guys. Lots of packages. I appreciate you guys sending stuff. I really do. And I want to see stuff open on video if I send stuff to people. So I'm going to make sure I open every single one of these right here on this video. Hundreds of updates to do. We're going to do a few of them. Nothing, nothing to see here, though. Nothing, nothing, nothing to see, nothing to see. Nope. So I know that I said that this video would have the kids in it and the family because we haven't had them on for a while with all the shows and whatnot, but unfortunately, I am a liar. But I promise on the next video we're gonna have them all feed animals and like, it'll be a fun vlog. I've just been selfish with my family because I want to have them for me time, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I will share them with you guys again, but they're just... They're my family, so I wanted to keep them to myself for a little while. I'm sure you guys can understand. So what have I been up to? I've been up to, well, I went to Freedom Breeder again recently. And we're getting all packed up for Tinley, which is coming up. And uh, speaking of Jesse and Freedom Breeder, get your Cocoa Blocks. I've also just been doing a bunch of prep to get ready for the show. I'm actually going to be bringing a lot of stuff that I don't usually bring, including like a bunch of t-shirts and some new custom gear I'm having printed just for the show. It's going to be a limited supply, so if you guys are going to the Tinley show and you see me there and you want to get in on some of it, like I said, there'll be, there'll be some cool stuff, like some different style shirts I haven't had before and maybe a couple other little surprises, but I'm working on that stuff and just really looking forward to Tinley coming up because it's such an awesome show. It's my... I hate to say it make favorites or play favorites, but I think Tinley Park is probably my favorite show of the entire year, especially the October show because it tends to be a little bit bigger, even though last March seemed to be pretty big too, but I'm just really excited to see everybody there and have a lot of fun. Of course, October is our pilgrimage that we do, so we, we travel from here to Pittsburgh to my buddy Garrett Hartle's house, which we're, I think, going to have a potluck on Wednesday of some kind. Garrett, sorry if I'm shooting you at the foot here, but... Wednesday in, in Pittsburgh, we're having a potluck at Garrett Hartle's house. <laughs> and we're going to do it every October for the rest of our lives. So you might as well come and start doing that. And Mr. Brian Gundy is coming with us too. So that's going to be awesome. Oh, and I remember I told you guys last time there was a very enormous, very exciting update that I was going to tell you guys today. And I'm going to tell you in this video for sure. Oh, also the Roaming Reptile Show. We did our first one, as you saw on a previous video. And I've been making sure all the stuff is in order for that, especially when we're going to start doing schools. I had to make sure all of my liability insurance was in place and whatnot. And we actually just booked a school. It's going to be our first school presentation. It's going to be about a thousand kids that we present to that day. It's a big step for me in public outreach. And you guys see me now, like how I am now, how I'm like very out, kind of outgoing and like to hang out with people and do stuff. I never used to be like this at all. I used to be very quiet. You know, my mom will remind me of times when I was... A kid, I, w I wouldn't go out on the playground until all the kids were gone. I went to middle school, I, I wore a hood for like all of middle school in class, just so nobody could see me. It's been a lot of changes. Good changes, I think. Screw you! I wanted to show you a snake. A snake has shed out. This is our male indigo. He's talking. He's got things to say. What you gotta say? Black as night. Pay no attention to my jacked up hand. Black as night. Sure is the darkness. Come on, I want to show you on the video, my friend. There we go. Say hi, camera. Hi, camera. Ooh, there we go. That's the, that's the shot I want. Right here, I gotta move over here. I gotta stop thinking about myself and thinking about the snake. Stop thinking about yourself. Just think about the snake. Don't think about the take. Just think about the brakes. Dude. Uh, shot? trying to get there it is that is the shot i was looking for bro right there mm. okay we nailed it i can go home sleep now no 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 i don't have time for this oh you know what i forgot i was gonna take my hair down for this video just to show you guys what my hair looks like when i don't wash it for like a whole week i haven't had time to wash it i've been too busy too busy too busy to wash it but this is what it looks like isn't that nice oh there's stuff coming out of it mm. I know that the ladies really enjoy the hair out, so I'm, I'm, this is for you guys, okay? Hillary doesn't mind. Hillary is one of the coolest wives you guys could ever ask for, actually. She's awesome. She likes when I do stuff like this. 
So some of the interviews that I'm really excited about coming up in Ten Leaf, Triple B TV. If you're not subscribed to Triple B TV, you're missing out on all the awesome interviews we've been doing over there. And one of them that's coming up that I'm really excited about, hopefully, okay, there's two that are not even scheduled to happen at Ten Leaf. I'm really excited about. One is with a guy, Ben Morrill, who has been doing genetic testing and working on different stuff like that, being able to send little home testing kits for snakes and other reptiles, and we'll get into all the details of what that stuff's all about. So, my mic thing just filled up, the audio thing filled up, so it's probably why I was doing that stupid hair stuff that you guys probably don't care about anyway, so that's probably the stop phone. I'm really just trying to bring you guys like some really high quality stuff here, not just like content, but visually and audio and sometimes the struggle, man. So Hillary came down, she had to take Noah to school, so I lied again. You get to see a kid in this video. Hi, T. Can you say hi? How's your face doing, T? This is a new thing. She fell off a chair today. <laughs> Can we put this down, my tea? You wanna you wanna talk with me about the rest of stuff? We're gonna open some packages, that'll be fun. What do you think? Be fun opening some packages? What do you think? Oh, 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 the interviews I was talking about. So we got Ben, and then we got my buddies Joel and Adam over Reptiles Unplugged. I got microphones specifically for their interview, because I'm only able to ever to shut up thing! I've only ever been able to do interviews with one person because I only have two lav mics, one for myself, one for the other person. Now I've got three, I can have two people on at the same time. So that'll be fun. And I'm really hoping that we'll be able to have Kevin McCurley on. I've been talking with Donnie, his editor over there at Nerd, and likely, hopefully, I can have Kevin on because I've wanted to interview that guy for a long time and just have never had the chance. So hopefully he's gonna be there at Tinley. Uh, that's a thing and hopefully I'll get the chance to interview him. So those are the three interviews I'm really looking forward to coming up here at Tinley. Also for upcoming videos here on the vlog channel, I'm gonna be going to lots of cool places along my way to Tinley. No, the air conditioner, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Wow. I'm gonna be going to my buddy Matt's on the way there. We're obviously gonna be stopping at Garrett's place too. T, come here. See, she's got this new thing on her face that she did under her nose here, but you can see where the, the where the snake got her. It's already gone. You can't even tell anyone. Oh, there's a, a little tiny red line right there. But other than that, other than that, she's freaking golden, bro. Golden biscuits shining through like little tiny pieces of poop. What do you think, T? <clears throat> oh yeah. So we're going to Matt's. We're going to Garrett's. We're going to Forest for the pre Tinley barbecue. And at each one of those places, I'm gonna do it. My top five favorite animals at their place. These guys really seem to enjoy that video from Mutation Creation where I did that. So. I'm gonna do that with all those places. You guys like that idea? Comment down below if you like that idea. Also, remember when I did that nidovirus testing? See, I told you I've got a buttload of updates to do today. Remember when I did that nidovirus testing? The folks that helped me do that, Pia Bartolini over there in Florida, she sent me a free testing kit for one of you guys. So if you want to test one of your snakes for nidovirus, comment down below. By the way, our snake didn't have nidovirus. It was the queen, she laid a clutch, she's fine. Leave a comment down below if you would like to have a free nidovirus testing kit and we will randomly select one of you to have that kit sent out to you. <laughs> I love you. Okay, let's open up these packages and then we will do the biggest announcement of the day, of the year, of the century. Century may be a stretch. Definitely of the year. What do you got? One giant boot on? Look at look, this. Is what happens when you let your kids dress themselves? You got one giant boot. My oh, this is nice. <laughs> Can I have a smooch? Can I take the boot off? Thank you. Hey, you sit with me. We're gonna open. Look, we're gonna open packages. We got some stickers from Four One Three Exotics. Check those things out. Pretty sweet, eh? Thank you, sir. Or ma'am. You said D. I don't know what D stands for. Sorry. One for you, one for me. Okay. First state pythons. Check that out. He even set the stamp so I could send him a sticker back. Look at that, T. <laughs> Fancy time. This is from Val Reptiles up in Spokane. Val, if you remember, is putting together this huge, awesome sticker board for Chase. And, oh. This is just a... Thank you for... There it is, right there. Boom. Chasing the cure. Mr. Chase Patton over there at JKR. 
and then ooh, and then lots of other stickers from Val Reptiles as well. I believe that he's going to be there at Tinley with the uh, with the new big one for auction. So ho hopefully I'm not ruining a surprise there. So I'm going to put it up anyway though. <laughs> we'll see you guys at Tinley. Yeah. These are from my buddy Andy Moore. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's got a fencing shirt too. I got fencing shirts. This is what I'm really after though. Red clay reptile. Look, he's got a couple different shirts here, man. Check that out. Red clay reptiles. Hey Andy, you going to Tenley? I have no idea what this is. I knew the shirts were coming from Andy, but I have no idea what this package right here is. This is something magical, something magical from Colorado Cold Bloods. Oh, look, a picture. One of the first snakes they produced, I believe. Thank you, Brian, for all the positive energy you bring to our community. If you are ever in the Denver area, be sure to hit us up. We'll be vending at the October Reptilian Nation show. Quick drive out. Yeah, quick drive. I'll be right be right there. <laughs> I'll have to I'd love to go to every show in the country at some point, but there are a lot of shows in this country. We're very fortunate. Ooh, Colorado Cold Bloods. If you guys are gonna be over there at that show in Denver, over the show in Colorado, go check them out, man. Right there, Colorado Cold Bloods. Boom, and look at that, custom pint glass. That thing is freaking cool, man. There you go. Ooh, I wonder if I have anything to put in this. You silly seal. Oh, now the battery's gonna die on the camera. Of course it is. Ah, we're gonna do this together. This is, this is appropriate. T, yeah. come here. Can I have that, please? Locking out my phone over there. All right. This next announcement, it deserves this, I think. I Yeah. Dada. Oh, yeah. T. So, I've received the news. It's... Still in the works, but I've been invited to go with Dave Kaufman to Australia for 10 days to go to the Sydney Reptile Expo, go herping up in the Northern Territory, Australia. I've never been to Australia. Cheers. I am excited. I don't know if you can tell right now by the look on my face. I am unbelievably excited. I'm actually beside myself. That's the big news. Huge update, huge news. That would be the beginning of next year. We'd be going to Australia and just cruising around, finding all kinds of freaking sweet creatures. <sighs> I'm beside myself. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm just gonna drink the rest of the day. No, I'm gonna go hang out with the family. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Kids feeding all the animals. Aloha.